While traveling around the city using transit, many people use apps to track their next bus, the streetcar, or the subway train to make sure that it's on time. But did you know you're being tracked as well? A lot of these developers want to know where you're at, where you're going, among other things, and they use that information in different ways. Open an app, let it access your location, add your destination, and voila, your transit trip is set. Some apps even connect you with services, all possible as a result of providing developers your personal information. When we do share information with third parties, it's with services that you're using in the app. So for example, if you purchase a Bike Share Toronto Pass um, using transit, we'll share your information with Bike Share Toronto so you can purchase that pass. The real-time data exchange involves tracking your whereabouts as well as transit vehicles. Technology to get you from A to B faster and easier. We also have a component where our vehicles are tracked. So we have a CIS system and that tracks our vehicles as they're moving along to help determine where they are in terms of the route and of course picking up customers. Transit apps provide another example of personal information being shared. But not all apps are created equal. There are ways to simply find a location and see when the next bus is coming. We take data privacy tremendously serious. Um, you'll see when you download Rocketman, you're not required to uh, enter your personal information to start using the app. Uh, you don't even have to enable your location services uh, to use the app if you don't want to. Some companies have partnerships with agencies, like the Transit app from Montreal, working with the STM in that city, Saskatoon, and other U.S. cities to give them information on customer use. We want to help them understand better how their system is being used. And so we share aggregate anonymized information about where the most common um, use, where the, where the most popular routes are. The TTC, though, says while it provides data, it doesn't take any in return. At this time, we don't gather information from any of the apps. Those apps help with that, and so we're willing to work with them, but we still have our own tactics to inform our service planning. All this on top of the information that is shared while driving as well. Waze and Google Maps use real-time data and crowdsource information about what's happening on the roads. You've also got Uber and Lyft tracking their vehicles, showing you when they're coming and going. And then in the near future, we're going to have autonomous vehicles as well, relying on all this data at the same time.